Hey everyone, welcome to Green Lane Off-Road. I'm Donovan, and today we're going to be installing our aluminum hatch ladder on our 5th Gen 4Runner. Right. Once you've got the ladder unpackaged, uh, we're going to go ahead and turn around this top hatch plate. Uh, we bolted on this way just to make it a little bit smaller for packaging, uh, but the correct orientation once installed is going to be flipped around 180 degrees. We're just going to loosely install the nuts for now because we'll be removing the ladder again before final installation. We're also going to go ahead and uninstall the lower clamp plate. We'll set the hardware aside and we'll be using that later. Now we're ready to start our installation. So first we're going to dry fit the ladder before we remove the protective uh, bottom from the double sided tape just to get our position on the hatch. So we want it to land so the edge of the ladder is about half an inch from the point on the uh, spoiler at the back. We'll go ahead and Mark the inside with a piece of masking tape. If you want to add some extra protection, you can add some 3M paint protection film where the ladder sits at the top and bottom of the hatch. We're going to go ahead and do that now for this customer. Next we're going to remove the protective layer from the double sided tape on the top and bottom of the ladder. Next we're going to install the ladder by hooking the top plate to the back of the hatch and pulling it tight while rotating the ladder down towards the hatch to stick down the double sided tape. Uh, we want to pull the ladder down till it hits the bottom of the hatch. The ladder will naturally want to sit about three eighths of an inch above. We do this so that when the ladder is bolted to the hatch, it's preloaded and clamping the hatch so there's no movement while in use. Next, we'll back out the set screws in the lower hatch plate so that they're not uh, sticking past the surface. Then we'll hook it under the bottom of the hatch, lining up the slots of the plate with the holes in the ladder. And we'll reinstall our bolts and nuts that we removed earlier. Next, we'll snug down these nuts and bolts, pulling the ladder down flush with the bottom of the hatch. The 
We'll leave them just a little bit loose for now. Next, we'll just snug up our set screws in the bottom clamp plate, which will press the bottom of the ladder against the hatch, activating the 3M VHB foam tape. Be sure not to over tighten these as it's easy to strip them. Now we're going to go ahead and Tighten up the bolts connecting the ladder to the clamp plate. And last but not least, we'll go up top and tighten the top bolts. These top nuts just have to be snug. You don't want to over tighten them as these are easy to strip. Once complete, the ladder is installed and you're ready to go.